Yes, dolls. New camera. Who is this? So excited. I'm filming with my new camera today. This is the Sony ZB-1, which is the standard synonymous vlogging camera. So I'm super excited. I finally pulled her out. I've had her for quite some time now, but I was just kind of intimidated about learning how to use the camera, how to film with this. So I had still been filming on my phone, girl, even though I had the camera all this time. So today I was like, we are going to pull the camera out as soon as we get the hair, nails, everything together. And it's a vlog type day. Then we're definitely going to be vlogging with the vlog camera. Like, come on, let's step it up. So I have my new light in front of me. So hopefully the picture quality is getting up there. Hopefully it's a lot better. And hopefully the video is going to be a lot better. So this is the Sony ZV-1. But I'm excited to be filming with my new camera for sure. My new lighting. Hopefully it's eating the girls down. Okay. And just, you know, elevating. Because we want to always be elevating, going higher, doing better. So definitely needed. Been needing this camera for so long. And should have been got it. But just was stalling and hesitating out of fear. So finally got the new camera, new setup. So I wanted to just sit down first before I started the vlog just to talk to you gals and to tell you some things that I'm excited about just to kick off the vlog. So first of all was the new camera, the new lighting. So please comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Is it giving? Is the quality better? Um, I want to get back into doing like makeup application videos and stuff. The first thing is the nails. I'm so excited about my nails. I think they came out so good. And I'll insert just a clip of the inspiration video or inspiration, the inspiration picture that I used from Pinterest to get this look, which I think they came out spot on. I created a reel on Instagram and a YouTube short. So if y'all haven't seen those, then if you have, then you've already seen the nails. But I think they're so cute. I went a little bit longer. I got them more stiletto, which I think is my old vibe. So that is um, how that's looking. I just finished filming for you guys a top five Arab perfume. So when I move my arm like that, it reminded me of that because I still have on just a mishmash of all the fragrances that I was spraying on while I was sitting here. So I smell really, really good. Um, oh, that was the Amir Oud. Al Amir Oud from Latafa. And it smells so good. I'm trying to tell you, dog. Y'all need to run to Amazon and pick up those fragrances. I'm not sure which video will be out first, but um, it probably be that one because this vlog, I need to film and build it up before it's ready. So that video is already out um, and posted. So you all should definitely go and check out some of those fragrances. I think all of them, well, not I think, I know all of them are under 50 bucks or less. So you definitely, oh my God, it's giving. Show you some of my favorite things of the moment. Things that I am absolutely loving right now. So again, the nails are eating for sure. So um, I'm obsessed with those. And going back to Stiletto has rejuvenated me, changed my life, giving me my energy back in terms of my nails. Because I was getting bored with them. I had the almond shape before. But I think these are really, really cute and just giving. Okay, the next thing is the hair. Let me lower you guys down so you can see it. Or let me sit up. The hair is giving. This is 22 inches, bust down middle part. This is a 1B natural. And these are the Google tape ends from Amazon. I've been telling you dolls about these for a little over a year now. And I don't want y'all to sleep on them because they are eating. They are eating and it's so neat, so seamless. And it just looks really sleek. To me, it looks really natural. And it blends seamlessly like head full of tape ends. Um, I think I have 200 plus grams of hair in and it looks really light, really sleek, really neat. I really like it. And then the next thing that I'm, I'm loving and obsessed with currently are these lashes dolls. These are my absolute favorite lashes. These are the Kiss lashes. I have a fresh pack here because I always stock up on these when I'm in the beauty supply. I haven't really ordered them yet, but these are the 3D 
Oh, these are not. Yeah, these are Kiss. These are the I Envy. Are these Kiss or I Envy? We're going to go with what it says on the package, which is I Envy Flash 3Ds. This is um, the multi-angle volume 3D lashes. This is the number 111. And I usually stack these. So right now I'm wearing two pairs. So anytime you see me with lashes on, they're double stacked because I really like that dramatic look from the side. Um, I don't think that they're giving lash extensions unless it was a really, really full set. But I just like the look of them. I think they they just eat down. They always have. And they look great by themselves. But I think that extra drama, the fullness um, that I like, like the perfect lash for me is when I stack two of these. Um, on top, I wear them every day. So it's good for all everyday use. And also, of course, like at special occasions, special outings, and that sort of thing. Another thing that I've been loving lately and i don't know how to say this properly so i'm probably gonna say it wrong but it's the speedy 40. let me get my phone out because i don't want you girls to come for me in the comments y'all love to come for me about my handbags for some reason the speedy bandolier 40. and um this is a classic monogram print but i pulled her back out um from retirement because you know speedy is not a popular bag or or anymore it's more of a traditional kind of older bag compared to all the bags that are on hype right now but i really like this i have pulled it out to go shopping um because it has a crossbody strap i don't have it on today because i didn't take it the crossbody strap with me to work i just wore it you know just like this today and um i really liked it when i wore it this weekend to the mall because i had the crossbody so this is like the smaller luggage per se is the speed 40 and that's why it comes with the d rings on the side and then it has the leather the louis vuitton leather down the sides like that so it gives more of a luggage and it's considered the small like a mini luggage type bag um and it comes with the strap so that's the difference between this bag and then the speedy like 30 35 is the size and then the fact that it has the crossbody strap on it, which is really nice. Um, I actually just filmed a what's in my bag for this video, which I thought was really cute and kind of traditional Tisha Monique, what's in my bag type videos. But um, I've been really liking this bag. I pulled it out this weekend, like I said, and then I ended up wearing it to work today. And I was like, oh, she is so cute. So I just think this is a really classic bag that has been clutch. For me and then i've also been loving as far as like investment pieces if you dolls are looking to add something to your collection is this um louis vuitton toiletry bag and i know louis vuitton is not always a in brand in terms of like there being so many different purses and bags and stuff to select from but um i think that it's just such a classic staple type um item luxury item to have in your collection um it's also timeless so you know something like this you can have for many years it's going to hold its value and it also just looks really classy very classic and elegant and this is the toiletry 26 um bag and i really really love this so when i paired this these two items I have the bag and then I've been using this as kind of the insert to keep all of my stuff so it's not just loose in the bag since it's just a really big vessel of a bag. But this has been really nice and I just put everything in here and then when I get ready to pull something out, I just, you know, unzip it inside of my purse. I have all my stuff in here. It has a little pocket and stuff which gives you a little bit of a divider but it's still really nice. If I wanted to take this out, like to run in the store or something, if I didn't want to take that bag or if I was traveling like for the airport, then this is really nice because you can put your wallet in here. Um, I've got hand sanitizer, my keys, and all of this, the things are in here. Um, you know, all of the stuff is in here. And I did do kind of a, I guess, what's in my bag of this one too on that video. So you can definitely go and check it out. Um there i think that one will be up before this video too so i will link it 
but um this i have been loving as well because you can use it for so many things for travel like putting your skincare in here you can use it for a makeup bag um you can use this for work and have like all of your pens and pencils and different things in here you can use it for your toiletries which is you know what it's intended for and if you are just wanting a multi-purpose functional bag then this one has nice and i also use this as a clutch purse like if i'm going out or something i want it just like a really cute bag it photographs really nicely and it's just a sleek add-on i'll show you guys one other thing so let me hold on i need to go check my spaghetti i'll be right back okay dolls i feel like this is the vlogger appropriate zoom in feature so i know i'm just trying it out but i really like it a little bit zoomed out it's more my vibe but I know a lot of the dolls are kind of close up. So I'm going to film a little bit like that just to see what it's giving and how I feel about it. So anyways, I wanted to show you dolls something that um, I picked up from the beauty supply. And they are just earrings. But the thing about it is, is that um, I was watching some videos this weekend. And one of the dolls on there was talking about her... Just her stack, her, um, you know, what she's wearing on her ears and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. You know, she's got multiple piercings on both ears. And so she's got all these different kind of trendy, just a stack, earring stack. And then I was thinking like, girl, you have piercings in your ears too. Because I've got my, I don't even know the names anymore, but I've had my piercings for years. Like back in my 20s is when I got um, my extra piercings, but then I had, uh, let's see, let me zoom now. I have a hole here, a piercing here, and one on the top on this side. And then on this side, I have one, two, three. So three on each side, essentially, but three on, you know, in a row here. And then on this side, I have two and then one on the top. So the point that I was trying to make is, is that um, for me, you know, I just recognized that my piercings were from a whole different time period in my life when I was just really coming into my own as far as being a woman, not even so much a woman, just an adult. I was just turning the wee ages of like 18, 19, 20 to where for me, freedom Part of that meant that I was able to kind of do some things body-wise and get some extra piercings. So when I saw the video, it just kind of ignited something that reminded me like you have these piercings, even though I haven't worn them because I was like, oh, they're unprofessional, you know, to have like multiple piercings and stuff in the workplace in corporate America. And so I just stopped wearing them like probably when I started working in corporate. So that was like around 20, I don't know how old I was, but like let's say mid twenties. So, and then after that, it just kind of fizzled out or phased out and it never was a thing for me anymore. So when I went in the saw that the video this weekend, I think it was politics and fashion that I was watching and she was talking about her ear candy and stuff. And then I was like, oh, that's cute. I want to do that. Maybe I'll get my ears pierced. And I'm like, ding, ding, ding. You already have your ears pierced and you can just get the earrings. I immediately went to my closet. I got an earring out, a small one, and then I checked and all my piercings are still open. I thought it was really cool because I was like, they're probably closed up, but it's been eons let's say that at least a couple of decades since i had been wearing the earrings so i didn't even know if the holes were still present i was like you know what this will be a really cool way for me at my big old age to pay homage to my younger self that younger version of self and just that 20 year old girl that um was so proud to be able to go out and make that type of decisions to have like her ears pierced multiple places and all of that stuff just the excitement that fun that energy the vibe that was there at that time period get some some earrings that i can you know start wearing these again use those piercings and so i went to the beauty supply and i picked up i guess i've got about six pairs here 
I thought I had more, but anyways, I have six pairs. And these were so inexpensive, guys. And I think they were like $2.99, $3.99, $5.99. I mean, the price range, but it wasn't none were more than like six dollars each. And I just thought that these were really, really cute. Um let me show you each one. So I got three silvers and three gold. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking about for this look. And these are the ones that I picked up. So I'll put them in. I want to show you dolls how it looks. The little earring stack that I picked up. But I thought, you know, instead of the Chanel's, I could put this one. And then, like on this side, for example. This one would be in the first hole, the diamond. And then I would come in with the little hoop um behind it on that side and then maybe like a little smaller stud and put a stud at the top or i could do like the other hoop at the like the second earring on this side because essentially this is like i mean of course it's three pairs so it's like six earrings and i got six holes so i could play with them like that kind of play play it up on those and I just picked these up from the beauty supply like I said and then I also got these gold ones so that I could do like a gold look um on the ears as well and so I got oh well, I actually got four okay one was hidden but again I got these little tiny really cute dainty gold um diamonds they're not real diamonds of course but they were $3.99. They're lead free, nickel free, and they're not supposed to tarnish. So that was the key for me. And I could do gold instead, like at the top, I put a stud up there or behind my first holes. I could use these. And then um, I got these little gold hoops. And I thought that was cute where I could kind of do like a little hoop you know, behind the stud or the first hole. And then I got another pair, which is the gold. Now these are $4.99, but this is the gold version, which is gold with the little diamonds on it, which I think is real cute. These will probably be the ones that I will gravitate more towards because I think it's just kind of really um, current as far as the look goes. The other gold hoops were just like a plain gold hoop, which I think will be cute too, but it's a little bit big, even though they're small. So I have to, I wanted to get them just to, you know, try it out and see just to have them because it's a smooth, that smooth gold there. And then the last pair, did I get two diamonds? I think I did. One is a little bit bigger. Um, so I thought I could wear like these maybe in the first hole and then just kind of have those to play with. So that's what I'm doing dolls. I'm so excited about it. And I was so glad that the earrings were the pricing that they were so that I could get a few to play with. So I'm definitely going to put these in in a minute and just show you what I was I thinking. Finished. Some spaghetti. I don't think this is the settings that are right on my camera, but I guess I'll watch a little bit after, um, after this is done, I have to get my portions down. So look how much spaghetti I'm eating. Super small portion. I feel like my settings is not right, but we'll see. Let's see how it's giving. Mm. Mm. It's good, probably super good because I can only eat a little small amount. <laughs> So, oh my god I gotta put these earrings in so y'all can see mm. okay now the earrings I just needed a full break um <clears throat> I'm working on my um vision planning of course always manifesting so i wanted to show you guys my my screensaver on my phone <laughs> oh my god i love looking at this um because for 2023 manifesting and already ushering into reality new home and that g-wagon so i'm so excited this is the color i want and uh, what red interior 
And um, I was watching something and somebody was saying that was a little like, not ghetto, but just like not the vibes. But I've always wanted my G-Wagon to be just like that. So I've never had red interior in my car. And so that's what I want. And then my unlock screen. Let me show you guys. I just have, um, and disregard all these apps my kids downloaded, but it just says it's all good, baby. So it kind of just a reminder to walk light, not to take everything so, um, not to take everything so to heart and just to be a little bit more easy when it comes to like how I'm doing things. So I just did that here recently. So I thought that was a really good tip. And um, yeah, so let me put these earrings in it and I'll come back and show you guys real quick. Because after that, I'm going to hop in the shower, get into my PJs, wrap this hair up. And then um, I think tomorrow we're going to go to Alta after work. Tomorrow's a work day. It's Wednesday. And so, um, most of my stuff I do in the evenings and then on the weekends, like Friday during the day and stuff. And then on the weekends. So yesterday I went and did my nails already, did the hair on Monday. And so, um, and toes, no nope. pedicure, manic pedicure and nails always go together. So that was the lighting. And then we are getting ready for a bed because I am tired. I'm to be up for work. Um, and in my desk, I have to be in my desk in my seat at 6:30 a.m. And I get up for work around 4.30 is when my first alarm goes off. Then, you know, it goes from there, 4.45, etc. So that I have enough time to leave, get where I'm going, get Starbucks on the way, of course. Because if I have to be at work at 6.30 a.m., I definitely need a coffee. So that is non-negotiable for me. So tiny. Let's see. Here it is here. It just feels weird having something in my ear right there, but it doesn't hurt. Definitely it's open, but you see how small it is to where it's not even that noticeable. So let's just say I was putting on the diamonds with it. It doesn't feel weird. I'm not gonna sleep in it, of course, but just for like regular use, I think it'll be cute. Let me see if I can get this. But this is a hole that always kind of kept opening and closing on me, even when I was wearing it. So I don't know that it ever fully healed, but I guess it has. It's been way too long to say that, but it's still open, but I always have to like re-puncture it. So that's how we're looking so far. Cute. Girl, that took so long to get these earrings in oh my gosh but this is how they look but um yeah it feels like it needs something else over here it's like just two and one at the top is not really giving but it's cute it's a start and i could get another one and then this one has the three and i think it could use another one here so but together is cute. I think it's a vibe. I mean, my hair is usually, when it's down, it's down. It's just back like this, but I think that's like really casual, cute. A little, another little diamond here would have been cute. And this hair is cute. No. Then on this side, Probably something like right here. Like not all the way up, but maybe like right in here where I could do like a little hoop or something there would be cute too. The girl get tired of stuff quick, so we'll see how long this is going to last. We're not even recording. I was saying I'm ready to get ready for bed at this point. I always take my makeup off with the Clinique. All about clean. 
because it's got the little micro. Let's see if it'll show that. Anyways, it's got the little micro crystals in there. And we're at this here. Put these earrings out. And you're ready for bed. Target pajamas, period. <laughs> and um, what I've been finding, or what I know to work when I first get my hair done, you guys, is to sleep cute for me. Because if I wrap it, then it's gonna kind of have a little bounce to it, I guess. And I like it to stay really, really straight. So as far as skincare, I did baby oil. Mixed with the Peaches Please from Soap and Glory, which I've been absolutely loving lately. Smells so good. I've got the body lotion, the body butter, and the body scrub, body wash in the shower. So I love to just layer, have all the same fragrance. As far as that is concerned, and then the baby oil at night, it just helps everything to um, be moisturized, to stick. And um, oh, my back feels kind of wet. Do they here? You don't know the Target pajamas that everybody have, but I love them. Favorite pair, so soft. Okay. And then on the skin, for the face rather, Mario Badescu, the Protein Night Cream. Amazing. Absolutely love this. I guess I just need to hold it like that. And then I put that on the face, the chest, neck, all of that. And a little bit of do you. I think this one is like $26, but I have so many of these because this works amazing and I need it in my life always and forever. So. Always up on the neck. I see so many videos where everybody's like pounding down her neck. It's like, girl, no, go up. Preserve that skin elasticity. My order gals, no, hopefully you know. And I just rub that in. So now, Laneige on the lips, always. Mm, love it. It's so good. And I also rub some of that cream on the backs of my hands for certain. I have the collagen moisturizer. Back of the hands. Here we go. body lotion on as well lots of moisturizers okay and then with the hair like I was saying I keep it to the front especially when it's long and straight like this and I want to keep it straight then Flat. No 
tapes are showing. That's higher up. In the morning, I want to just take the scarf off and go as far as hair is concerned. And then I just redo my scarf. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Like, that is a wrap. I can't believe my scarf is doing me like this. Here we go. I must be tired. Okay, dolls, I wanted to just quickly show you dolls where we're at with the perfume collection because it is coming along. I also wanted to start filming a little bit more in my current closet because I am moving soon, dolls. Um, we are going to be moving to a beautiful new home, which I'm super excited about. It's definitely uh, modern. It's aesthetic. We're having it built. So it has all of the, the beautiful interiors that's going to really look amazing. And I'm just so excited about it. But I wanted to start filming a little bit more in this closet before we leave because um, this closet will soon be no more. And I wanted to just show you dolls my... Uh, kimono that I'm wearing from Amazon because I think it's so gorgeous as you can see the sleeves and the colors on it but um, I will set the camera down so that you can see the full shot or at least try to get a full shot but I wanted to show you my current perfume collection and some of the ones that I have been absolutely loving for this summer I did just film a I think I said that yesterday but I filmed a Arab perfume collection uh, top five Arab perfumes that I think you dolls will love so that should be up already and then I'm going to show you just some of my current favorites um, other outside of those so let me turn the camera around and we can get going okay so here are all of the Arab perfumes and I don't even know if I'm saying that right I'm just going based off of other videos that I've seen and what they've titled it but these are them here um in the video that i told you about but these are some of my collection here and then i also have perfumes on this side um so let's zoom out so you guys can see everything okay so these are all of the perfumes that i currently have in my collection these are a couple of pair of zara earrings that I picked up recently and they are so gorgeous. I can't wait to wear them. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were, but um, I, they look even better. I'll say that they definitely look even better. These are the earrings from yesterday, so I haven't put those up. And this is just my, um, let's close this. This is the Ikea Mom the six drawers and I have two of those stacked on each other and it's just making a giant um jewelry case here and inside i just have all of my jewelry so this is a great storage because um it's just a lot of space it holds a whole lot the drawers are deep they actually could come out a little more so i have jewelry all the way back there and this is a lot of the jewelry that i don't wear as much lately i've kind of been more into minimal jewelry earrings and stuff so but i still have my collection of course because you know how fashion is things will come back around but i have a lot of um chanel type earrings in there and then these are the two main drawers that i reach for and pull from daily at this point i'm just giving a quick overview of my current collection but this is probably my top well this is my top used drawer um this one and this one where i have just some like my love bracelets just different things hermes little click clack bracelets um all of that stuff is in here dior necklaces chokers so that's that but this is the perfume collection here and this has definitely been one of my most worn perfumes for the summer um, and the spring. This is the Burberry, I believe this is Burberry Her, but it's not the one that's supposed to smell like strawberries and cream. The one that has like a muted pink.
painted bottle. This is a clear one. I got that from Sephora. I've also been loving the Flower Bomb uh, Ruby Orchid. This one is Victor and Rolf. This one smells really good. It's kind of got a lot of amber in it, so it smells amazing. Um, this is always a good one year round, but uh, especially for the spring. Summer, that is uh, Dylan Turquoise Blue. That one smells good. This one I mix with Angel Share, of course, and the Apple Brandy. Like Apple Brandy, Angel Share, I will wear solo standalone, but the Love by Killian, I have to mix that. I don't like the way it smells on me. It's too sweet, like that amber in there is just too strong. So I don't wear that one by itself. Um, Ebony Wood, of course, which is a little bit heavier. This YSL Libre has really surprised me. This is the Libre Intense, and I've been loving this. I get so many compliments on this. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first. It was giving me department store vibes, but then when I've worn it, um, it, it really has done its thing. So I like that one a lot. These three I tend to just wear as nighttime fragrances, as well as this one. This is like my go-to evening fragrance. This is the Replica um autumn vibes and i know everybody talks about jazz club but this one is one of my favorites and this is the autumn vibes that one smells really really good it kind of reminds me of like fahrenheit for men the dior fahrenheit which i love i didn't name this one top because this is probably one of my least favorites to be honest that's the baccarat rouge which i know is just so taboo to say but um it's good it smells good don't get me wrong but it's just not one of my top fragrances but that may be because i prefer more warm sexy type uh fragrances that have a little more depth to them but this one smells good um but i don't reach for it as much is what i'm saying and then i have the chloe which is just my classic staple signature fragrance that i always have on deck and yeah that's all the perfumes here i have one more here the Vivitar Pompa Mousse. I love this one from Zara. It's really nice. It kind of reminds me of the spa, so I'll use that at nighttime sometimes as well. Um, and those are definitely the ones that I wanted to mention to you guys. So let me turn the camera around so you can see this uh, kimono robe that I've got. So I really do love this kimono robe. My mom got it for me from Amazon. Big and flowy, does not have a tie around the waist. Um, so yeah, I do need to get a belt to go with it just to zhuzh it up all the way down. Um, if you guys can see that. So it's a good size. Um, the material is nice. I don't know if it's just a hundred percent silk or real or, or like a polyester blend, but it's really nice. It's really pretty. Like if you were going on vacation and you wanted to have, um, you know, just something really cute to throw on after the shower. This is how the back looks. You guys can see that. So it's a really pretty, really flowy. Anyways, I'll you get the gist of it. So I didn't make it to Alta today. Um, after I got off of work, I just came home and I'm just uploading a video right now because I didn't get to upload it for three o'clock, which is my target time on Wednesday. So um i'm just waiting for that to finish uploading on youtube and then once that is done then i'm just gonna kind of chill out i may watch the um and just like that the sex in the city little series or whatever and um i'll talk to you dolls a little bit later then this is how long the robe is just so you dolls can see here Hey, we have a package, dolls. First, we're gonna open up our champagne and then we're gonna get into this Zara haul. Lightweight Zara haul, I ordered a few things because as you dolls may know, Zara is having their annual sale or semi-annual sale or just the big sale that Zara has. And so I picked up a few things and I was like, okay, cool. I'll pull out the camera and I'll vlog it for you dolls. Battery is getting ready to die. Now I see what people say about this battery and the longevity of it. It's like non-existent so 
let me hurry up and do what we need to do before the camera dies. Hold on. Okay. Cheers to you dolls. Okay. Mm. It's dry just like I like it. This is the barefoot, the split um, champagne. I love champagne. That's what I'm always sipping on. Look at the bubbles. Love it. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I picked up a few things, like I was saying, from Zara, from Zara, and I'm so glad that it came. The box is a little bit smaller than I thought it was, but I didn't get a whole lot because I kept going back, checking the site, and they kept being sold out of stuff. So um, every time I would go to purchase, I was waiting on a few things, and then when those things might pop up in the size that I was looking for, then the things that were in there would just go out of stock and or they wouldn't have the size you know what i'm gonna go ahead and order the other things that i want and get them while the getting is good so that's what i did so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys what i got i should have filmed an unboxing for youtube shorts because everything is content but i can still come back and do that as well so let's just get into this So cute. I love their packaging. I try to do it cute so I can still do a YouTube short about it. So I mostly got shoes off. I didn't get any clothing items from what I recall. But I did stock up on a favorite, which is the Ebony Wood perfume from Zara. I love this perfume. Um, and it was it's originally $39.90 is how much it usually costs. But with the Zara sale, it was $15.99, I believe. So I was like, oh, yeah, at least I have to get one bottle. So this is a large size to the full size. So that's a really good deal if I can get into it. But, um, yes, okay. And if you guys have not gotten you a bottle of Ebony Wood, I don't know what you're waiting on. For the price, you can't beat it. I wore it to work today, and it smelled amazing. And I will keep restocking this because it is that girl for sure. And shout out, of course, to Kyra Amanique for putting the girls on. And love, love, love that for us, sis. Now, these are the first pair of shoes that I got. Oh. Oh, wait. I did go on the perfume. Let's start with the smaller stuff. This is the Red, Temp the Red Temptation by Zara. I got a small one. Um, I think these were like $5.99 on sale during the Zara sale and I got one of these because I wanted to put it in my gym bag or just to throw it in my purse to have a different fragrance but this one is supposed to be a, a dupe of the Baccarat Rouge uh, 540 so I was like well let me get a little one okay and it's a rollerball I thought it was a sprayer mm, my camera died so But I was talking about the Baccarat Rouge dupe from Zara, and it is le legit, you guys. If you don't have Baccarat Rouge or you don't want to spend the coin, you want something that smells the exact same way. This is crazy. Had I smelled the Baccarat Rouge in person first and then smelled this, I would have just gotten this and saved the coins because this smells the exact same. And I wear Zara perfume, so I know that they have the staying power and um, they last long. They give the, the scent trail and the fragrance bubble and all of that. So I would have just got this. This smells exactly the same. So I definitely am going to get a big bottle of this. I think the big bottle is only like $30. But oh my gosh, this is an exact, exact dupe. <sighs> but it's all good. You live and you learn. So those are the two fragrances that I picked up from Zara. And I think I got three pairs of shoes. Because I didn't spend a whole lot, like I said, by the time I got ready to do my thing and pull the trigger on the card. Even though I was waiting to pull the trigger all along, is that um, I just kept stalling, trying to wait on stuff. And it just never came to pass. So, here we are. But I got three pairs of shoes. 
don't know why I'm only seeing two shoes. Oh, I think the other ones were sold out. By the time I got back to them, the other ones were sold out. Dang, that's disappointing. I thought I got three shoes though. Is there a receipt in here? Maybe that was all I got. Maybe the two perfumes I'm thinking made it a total of four things, but nevertheless, we shall march forward. And so both of the shoes I got, I love, absolutely love. So I'm excited. Oh my gosh, you dogs, you know that I am obsessed with these dress shoes from Zara, with dress shoes from Zara. Oh my gosh, and I think these are so gorgeous. Yes, like, are you kidding me? Hold on, let me get the paper stuff off so that y'all can see them when I pull them out for the first impression. So hold on, let me get all this stuff out. Oh, I hope they fit because that size up. I got a 41. So hopefully these fit. If I had one of these, I saw, I didn't see them in the store. I got the other ones that you guys have probably been seeing if you follow me on instagram and uh youtube my shorts and stuff but these hold on i'm gonna inch them up on y'all oh my god these are so beautiful the bright blue the blue is so gorgeous it's so brilliant the little detailing on the foot is gorgeous i hope i can fit these i didn't know how the clothes shoe with fit so i'm gonna try it on real quick oh my god i'm so excited please fit please fit Ooh, they fit they have a little tight though but they fit probably because it's at the end of the day my feet are giving a little swollen i hope yeah these are cute so cute and then let me show you the other pair which i thought you know i'll get something that's really really cute that I wore but like a lot of the I got a lot of cargo pants and I wanted to get a shoe that was cute that was modern but I wanted a square toe and you guys know I love the translucent shoes because they just give they eat down and I saw these in Zara but they didn't have my size and I was like I'll order them online so these weren't on sale they were regular price they were $49.90 I got a 41 again which is fine and they look like this they're just clear um, the hill is not that high, so I thought these would be good for the summer and wouldn't be too hard on the feet. But I think these are so cute. And I just love these, so I'm glad I got these. And that was my Zara haul. I thought I had some more stuff, but like I said, my cart kept selling out and all of that and restocking. So that's all I ended up coming out with, which is fine because I'm still excited about my purchases. I'll probably end up wearing these shoes tomorrow if I do end up going out to meet a friend so i definitely will show you dolls how i style them and take some pics and all of that so yes quick little zara haul with you dolls thanks for it okay dolls i am back and i wanted to just show you the earrings that i ordered from amazon that have been all the rave and these are the dupes for the um Bottega earrings and I got them in gold so they came in a little pack like this which I think is super cute um I think these were like $20 if I'm not mistaken but I've seen them drop since then to where they're down to like $11.99 or so so they're really affordable so they look like this and I'm thinking about wearing them today so that's why I wanted to there we go I'm thinking about wearing them today so that's why I wanted to share them with you dolls um, get ready to put them on so these are the ones that I'm gonna wear today and let's put them on and see how they look it comes with two earring bags uh, two spares because I've already got two on there so that's cool I always need spare earring bags because for some reason my earring bags are always walking off and I'm just wearing this green um, set from Amazon and I've got on this Dior kind of a drop necklace but I tied it up higher so that it was more of a choker than a necklace. I have on the Christian Dior, um, same thing, Dior, Dior. And then I have on my Chanel little necklace that I wear every day. And um, let me put the earrings on so you guys can see how they look. And this is my first time 
trying them out too so let me zoom in don't have a seam down the front which i think a lot of people were running into or that they were getting plastic ones when they were trying to find good dupes so these are really good dupes i think that you guys will like the quality on these and for the price you cannot beat it um i'm not sure the stand power because like i said i just took these out and um look at my friend here but it is that time of the month so i do have my little visitor here which has my energy a little down today but today i'm planning on filming a case in my bum bag today so i have that here with me and i'm trying to decide if i'm going to film outside or inside because i have been doing my what's in my bags in my car but um i may just sit here and do it but we'll see but anyways these are the earrings and i think they're really cute since i have on like all of the jewelry today then i think that um having more of an understated necklace is gonna be i'm sorry understated earring is gonna be cute and i just pull my hair to the side a little bit to showcase the shoulder and uh just to you know just to kind of downplay some things since i have a lot of um elevated necklaces on jewelry etc today so this is the look as you guys can see so that's what i'm getting ready to do is to film this uh, what's in my bag video which I think is gonna be a really good video because I've never filmed one for my bum bag. And I may film in here, I don't know. I might, I'm still thinking about it, but I do like to film these in the car. So um, those seem to be really popular and you all seem to like that when I do that. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. on the move finally out of the house filming now i just got the camera as you dolls know and i have this car mount that i'm gonna try to assemble so that i can get you dolls sitting about like that um i'm kind of scared to hang the camera up because i'm like what if the suction thing on this doesn't work and you guys fall down or the camera gets damaged but i'm gonna give it a try it looks like it's pretty easy but it's so hot here in houston that i'm scared that the window is gonna be so hot while i'm driving that it's gonna like the suction is not gonna work so i may just put the suction up there first let that sit for a while and see how it does and then if i see that it's stable i'll go ahead and hang the camera on it but today i'm just running a few of the same little errands um going to the car wash i'm gonna go get some wings and a rita um I have, I went to Starbucks earlier, but I may go again, but I don't know if I would be drinking margaritas if I need caffeine this late because it's already 2.30. So I'm thinking that we're going to bypass Starbucks for now and just hit up um, the car wash, wings and more, and then I may go out later. If I do, I'll try to vlog a little bit, but I don't know if I'm going to end up going out because I just don't feel like it. It's so hot that in Houston, it just makes you not even want to do anything because it's too hot it's 103 is what the dashboard says but with the humidity and all of that stuff it's like way higher than that so it's super hot so i'm gonna try to put this mount up um i am wearing my little amazon necklaces today you guys chanel earrings and um just trying to see how i feel about it i have on a white tee i've got my chanel necklace so i thought it gave kind of icy gang vibes with a little stack or whatever here but i don't know if i'm feeling it but i just have that on with some jeans so kind of basic that's why i was like i don't know if i'm wanting to change and get dressed again to go out later so i don't know but we'll see where the day takes us but for now we're gonna go ahead and head to the car wash okay i'm trying to figure this out it looks like you can mount it on the dashboard which may be a little bit better but i just don't want to stick this to my dashboard because i'm like i don't want it to tear my dashboard i would have preferred to hang it to the window but i'm scared that it'll fall from the window but i don't want it I don't know if that I want it sitting on my dashboard like stuck to it because this is a 3M sticker that's on the back of here and um let me see I don't know I preferred it on a dash on the window though anyways because I didn't want the steering wheel in all of my shots you feel me let me see maybe if it was like way over here I don't know I have to play with it and see where I want to place y'all so I don't think I'm going to place this check because I don't know if it's going to pull up my um dashboard material whatever this i don't know that it's leather but um and see first what i'm gonna do i gotta see i want to kind of hang it from the window though i'm thinking so that i don't have the dash yeah i want it like right there i think that's a better shot it's gonna look cleaner a clearer view than down here on the dashboard where you can see the steering wheel in there so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to play with it and put it on the window hold on 
Okay, we got the margarita. We got um, the wings. Big city wings. And the margarita machine was down. So, I uh, frozen one, so I had to get it on the rocks. This is not my favorite, but it'll do. Hopefully, it's still good. It's good. I got peach. I got honey barbecue, lemon pepper, wings, and I got um, a little side salad. I'm so hungry, you guys. I haven't eaten all day. And the first thing that I put in my mouth shouldn't have been the margarita, but it was. And I like to sanitize everything, so... Just spraying it down. This is how the wings look. Oh, he put them in two separate boxes. These are the honey barbecue. Bussin'. I got, I got bar I got blue cheese and then these are the lemon pepper which are good they smell so good and I just got a little uh, Caesar size salad with the Caesar dressing blue cheese 